that, so I'll pretend that I'm not just making this video because I'm incredibly depressed and I don't know which one of my other videos to edit first, so I'm just doing this instead. I'm doing the bird keeper Toby thing again. I'm doing the I'm doing the thing where he gives me questions and then I give him answers. T these are for yours. These are for your eyes only, Toby. You're the only one that's allowed to see this. I have Chingling. Well, if. Beppa, if you're familiar with the Pokemon White Rain and Nuzlocke, as my current channel mascot. However, I at some point like to either commission someone else to make an original character or figure out digital art to make one for myself. I have a vague idea of what I'd like to do, but I don't have any good concept art at the moment, so to give you something to picture, uh, a mix between Chingling and Axolotls. Mixing my current mascot with what my channel is partially named after. Also, if I ever get big enough of a following, I can make shirts and plushies without getting sued by Nintendo. The best video of 2021 was without a doubt my Robot 64 video because I spent over three months making it and it actually got views, which makes me very, very happy. Uh, I also quite like the Mario 64 DS video because it makes me laugh and that's literally my only goal whenever I'm making a video like that. Mario 64 DS is the biggest missed opportunity since that time I took my son to the Grand Canyon. As for what I'm looking forward to making, uh, I have a bunch of video ideas revolving around how I would change certain aspects of the Pokemon games. These videos would be in the same vein as my Kanto Gym Leader video, or my uh, Pokemon Who Have the Incorrect Types videos, but uh, with things like what if Johto had Island Trials, and giving the Sinnoh Gym Leaders better ace Pokemon, or what if Alola had gyms, because like, it, it, it's just, I enjoy, I spend a lot of my free time coming up with what is basically Pokemon fanfiction, uh, like imagining future versions of Unova with a new Elite Four members, and gym leaders, and things like that. Uh, so that's, that's why I like making videos like that. Uh, however, I'm currently brainstorming an idea that's a take on something that MNJTV did. Uh, I don't want to reveal exactly what it is because uh, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to actually do it or not. Uh, but it would have an overarching narrative and I probably need a stronger computer slash two computers in order to do it. Uh, I'll at least leave you with the acronym the UML, so if you are familiar with MNJTV and what that could what that could possibly be referring to, you might be able to be like, oh, I, I understand those, I understand that. Uh, basically, I like writing Pokemon fanfiction and I want to do it more. Legends Unova easily, just so, so easily, I... <sighs> Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are fine enough games, uh, but it's just s remakes of my current and uh, my current least favorite mainline Pokemon games with slight improvements. So uh, I would rather just have a way to play the regular Heart Gold Soul Silver uh, instead of having new remakes of them. Also, I just I just love Unova, and I want it to be there forever and never leave ever. Except if they remake it in the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl style, just, uh, they're they're gonna do it one day. But uh, please, get, just please don't, please don't remake Black and White in the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl style. It looks it looks fine enough. Like in game, it looks much better than it does in the trailers, and I don't hate it. But I will never be able to take G uh, Chibi Getsis seriously and it will ruin any seriousness that the originals had. Uh, this is a huge tangent, but I just, I don't, it's a huge tangent, huge tangent. I'm going to get off the tangent now. Uh, the point is, I want to know about the Abyssal Ruins and how the Desert Resort and Route 18 were connected at one point, and also the obvious, the, the obvious route for Legends Unova would be to take the story of the two kings and the original dragon and expand upon that, which, like, they're going to do. But now nah, I want to see Meloetta's connection to the Abyssal Ruins become official in-game canon. It was a thing in the anime, and I want, I just, I want more context for the Abyssal Ruins, because in my White Nuzlocke, I discovered it for the first time, and I had no answers. I have no answers. I want them. I'm not good at living up to expectations I set for myself, so I'm not going to say anything other than the Nuzlocke Season 3 will happen at some point. I don't know when exactly. Probably summer because I have a job now, and school plus job plus YouTube is not fun, and it's gradually ruining my Meltan... My, me my Meltan... My Meltan health more and more. 
also more Pokemon videos, I don't know. I got a job. Also, I am from like 80 subscribers to almost 500, which is super cool. Also, again, my Robot64 video has 12,000 views. I'm overjoyed that people actually like it. I know that my, that my inflection is not doesn't sound like it because I forgot what I wrote. Uh, but I, genuinely, I'm very happy that I have almost 500 subscribers and my Robot64 video actually got views. Thank you. Hopefully, I'll actually make more content. The Lost Man again. Uh, his Pac-Man GBA video is good. I don't know if he plans on making any more videos, but watch his videos on repeat anyway. Also, Rebus is technically a smaller creator than me now. I'm boss man now. No thanks, I have confrontation anxiety, and also none of my friends like Pokemon as much as I do. Bye! Oh, I, f I forgot to do the thing. Um, hang on. Uh, okay, what's gonna be the big, uh, what's the funny, what's the funny way that I'm gonna incorporate, uh, just, Pokemon! There we go, uh, video's over, go home.